Hello, this is Jason Zubax. Hi, I'm Mike Adams. Hi, my name is Dr. Greg Rose. My name is James Lights. I'm Dr. Tyler Standiford. Six-time World Long Drive Champion, Smart to Move Advisory Staff Member, TPI Advisory Staff Member. I'm a biomechanics professor at Utah Valley University and uh, the Director of Education and Research in North America for Smart to Move. I'm one of the co-founders of the Titles Performance Institute. Teaching golf professional at Chifuncta Country Club in Covington, Louisiana in the United States. So I've been teaching golf for a little more than 46 years. When I talk about teaching, I'm talking about full time, eight to 12 hours a day, every day. So uh, for 46 years, I've given thousands and thousands of golf lessons. I've been using force plays for over 20 years. And uh, I've been very fortunate for the last 15 years, became really good friends with Gregory Labrad who invented uh, Smart to Move. And I find that Smart to Move is without a doubt the most complete force plate system known to mankind. Adding them to my uh, teaching. Now, with the force plates, I'm under to see, I'm able to see what is happening with the body, when and how. Uh, with the video, I'm able to dictate what needs to happen. And with the track man and the quad, I'm able to see what the club is doing to the golf ball. So no longer is there any guesswork because uh, I get right to the root problem and I can help every student maximize their ability to play better golf, and hit the longest, straightest drives of their lives. I always say that, you know, back in the past, we've had all different types of technologies out there to help us figure out what's wrong with a golfer. But the force plate has unlocked something that I don't think we've ever had in the past. I always say, if you want to step inside your golfer's body and actually feel what they feel, which would be an incredible thing to be able to do with a player, there's no way to do that unless you have a force plate. The force plate gives you what the player is feeling during their swing. And for a coach, once you can kind of feel what they're doing, it helps you help them in ways that we've never been able to do before. Uh, as a six-time world long drive champion and student of the game and always endeavoring to get better and learn more, uh, I've had a long history of biomechanics, originally introduced uh, by Dr. Rose to the kinematic side of things, uh, the how, understanding how the body, uh, where it is in space. But what really interested me is the 3D dual force plate technology and force plate technology in general to be able to measure and understand what forces and torques the player is generating, when they're doing it, how they're doing it, and the ability to modify these or see what's good and bad and make quick improvements to the player. Yeah, one of my favorite things to do to connect force plate data with teaching is, is help that golfer understand the thing that speaks to them. So for them, it might be a ball flight that they're seeing. Maybe they've seen on video something they're doing with the golf club. If they're fortunate enough to hit with a, a launch monitor, they'll see a data point on there that they really want to improve. Then I can go into the force plate data, start drawing some lines between uh, those things, help them get better at producing that force, more efficient at producing that force, and then hope we can see that outcome uh, of uh, that player seeing that ball flight improve or that number or that visual improve that they know is holding them back. Well, I do believe that whether you have all the technology or not, you can learn from what's, what's being revealed by the technology. You can use that even when you don't have it. So I think that it's very important that most of the people in the audience probably will not have the technology. But what I want to do is let them show what I've learned with it and what, how you can help your students. And then all of a sudden they start investing in themselves, realizing they can make their students better faster if they have it. Track man and force plates, what you need to understand is not everybody is going to do the same thing. The value of, because everybody has works with the, the lateral first or glide, then spin, then launch but each uses it in different magnitudes and understanding where the arm swing is relative to what we need to do. In example, if the arms get more upright, there has to be more lateral motion. If, the, uh, if they were, they're more on top with their golfer, meaning the right hand is gonna be more on top and pushing down, they're gonna use a lot more vertical. So it is a matter of marrying what their body needs to do with the information we're getting from the force plates. I always say that, you know, back in the past, we've had all different types of technologies out there to help us figure out what's wrong with a golfer. But the force plate has unlocked something that I don't think we've ever had in the past. 
I always say if you want to step inside your golfer's body and actually feel what they feel, which would be an incredible thing to be able to do with a player, there's no way to do that unless you have a force play. The force play gives you what the player is feeling during their swing. And for a coach, once you can kind of feel what they're doing, it helps you help them in ways that we've never been able to do before. Yes, the, when I first started using force play technology, yeah, you know, there's, there's a lot, there's a, um, a lot to learn, right? Like with anything, you know, for the coach, we need to understand what the data is being presented to us. Then from there, we have to understand on what's good, what's not so good, where we can make an improvement, and what direction to go with the player. Uh, one of the best moments I ever had was a player that had come to me. He said, what's all this deal about force play technology? I hear it quite often on golf telecasts, on broadcast. I hear people talking about using the ground. I see you're using it today. You know, can you help me out or show me something about force play technology? But he said, I only have 10 minutes because I'm on my way to a hockey game and I have to, I have to leave. And I said, well, you know, it may take longer than that, but let's give it a shot. So we took one swing on the Smart to Move 3D Dual mobile plates. I showed him the data. The player did a lot of things really well. He was very late on developing vertical force. And I thought we can make a very quick improvement with this player very quickly with a very simple drill. So I explained the drill to him and we did another capture and we had a 10 mile an hour improvement in ball speed in a eight minute span from when I did the first capture, explained the data to him to the second capture. That was a moment to me saying, this technology is super powerful and it actually, is, his dispersion got better. He launched it a little bit higher. The total distance was 28 yards total in gain without any giving up any accuracy. So it, this was a great moment for me and it made me realize what a powerful tool I have. Yeah, giving advice to a coach who's just starting to use force plates, I, I, would, I would really just tell them, collect the data. It doesn't even matter if you know what to do with the data yet. Just put your player on the force plates at the start of the lesson, then approach your lesson the exact same way that you would, put them on the force plates at the end of the lesson, and then just put that data aside. And at some point, hopefully in the next week or so, you can go back and start reviewing that data. I think don't be afraid to just start collecting data. I think too many coaches don't wanna collect that data on force plates until they understand what it means perfectly. But I think you can start to learn so much about force plate data if you just collect. So I would just say, Put your players on it. Start of the lesson, end of the lesson, and see what changes you make by the things you're teaching them in that lesson. Start off with, it's not one given person. I'll tell you a, a, a great group of people that we help with force plates. People who are mid to high handicappers, who have trouble getting to their lead side, when they get to their lead side, how they get to their lead side. You know, you can't see that on video. You can't, you, you, you know, even when, the, even when the trail foot heel is up off the ground, that doesn't mean all your pressure is on the lead side. So what a camera shows you can be very misleading. So we have a cadence, we have drills of getting people to their lead side in the right timing because there's a timing involved. If you don't get to the lead side early enough, it's really not usable in the swing. So I think the cadence in which their, their, their uh, pressure shifts and the, how the body moves at the same time, puts the coordination back into people who are coordinated, but are unfortunately swinging in an uncoordinated way. You'd be surprised the coordinated people who swing in an uncoordinated way. And with force plates, with the right amount of instruction or type of instruction, you can get rid of that coordination problem that they really don't have in any other sport. Teaching thousands and thousands of hours, I've come to recognize the biggest problem people make is having a method and trying to force everybody into that method because there's very few people that will fit that method. You need to individualize only through video, track man, quad, and the force plates are you able to totally individualize what the student needs to do and what they have to do. The best piece of advice I can give to anybody who's starting to branch into looking at advanced technology is number one, don't be scared, right? So I think a lot of us get scared of things that we don't know or that we can't explain. But the best way to get good at this is to start using it more, right? So that's number one. Number two is 
it's okay, ask questions, as many questions as you can. The more we dive into technology, I think the more we realize we don't know a lot and it actually creates more questions than it does answers. But I think the most important thing is, is don't ever be scared of data. There's never bad data. There's bad interpretation of data, but there's never bad data, right? So I feel like the more data you have behind you to, to maybe challenge some of your thoughts or maybe your preconceptions and either validate or make you change only makes you a better coach. So it could be a simple fix, it could be slightly more complex, but the force plate technology gives me guidance on which direction to go. Yeah, this is an incredible uh, group of individuals and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not including myself in that. I mean, I look at the people that we have, uh, James Lights, Jason Zubak, Mike Adams, Dr. Greg Rose, uh, their abilities and skills in this field are incredible. Just they've been using this technology for so long uh, we're incredibly fortunate to be at this event with them for Smart to Move to host this great event. What I hope happens uh, with the coaches who either have or don't have force plates is they leave this with four or five more tools in their tool belt that they could put on the lesson T immediately. Now, that's always my goal at something like this is that you leave here and say, I know this player that I can use that principle on today to help them get better at delivering the club and, and hitting the golf ball better.